that I leave much too early for yeah. the airport. Um, but I'd always rather be somewhere just ready than Correct. rushing to get there. No, absolutely. Absolutely. I'm, I'm the same. So we have at <laughs> least one, one thing common at the moment. <laughs> That's excellent. All right. looks like we're streaming and recording. So I will start the actual thing now. Hello out there and welcome to this Loon Dive on Sound of the Loons. I'm senior digital content editor, Steve McPherson, and I am thrilled to be joined by the newest Loon, Defender Yuka Raitala. Did I pronounce that okay? Couldn't be better. That's correct. <laughs> That's awesome. It's Happy always, to be here. Yeah, it's, it's welcome. Welcome to Minnesota, Minnesota United. I guess you're not in Minnesota. We'll get into that a little bit uh, about, about where you are. But uh, bringing in, in, in players, we always have, there's always a discussion about uh, the where the accent falls in the name and 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 like Jan Gregush was was it seems like a simple name but it got a, a little complicated to say. Yeah, I think my last name is is not that easy to pronounce, but you did a, you did a good job. Definitely. Okay, excellent. So you are uh, at home in in Finland right now, is that correct? Yeah, correct. How how much how much daylight are you currently getting in Finland? <laughs> well, I think at the moment is like sun. Uh, I think from, I think 9, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. at the moment. So it's okay. like seven hours, but actually funny you ask that because really sun, I haven't seen in, in weeks because it hasn't been sunny days for a long, long time. So I think it was back in December for sure. That's very so, depressing. So you're, <laughs> so you're probably <laughs> acclimated to a certain extent to dealing with the Minnesota winter, it seems like, um, maybe more so than some players from South America. No, definitely. You know, like to live in Montreal was very similar. You know, the, the climate is very similar to Finland. And, and, you know, if I have to choose between very hot or very cold, it's definitely very cold for me. It's w way easier. Excellent. I, I, we had the same, uh, got the same impression from Will Trapp, uh, who is from Columbus and in Ohio, which is sort of similar, and then was in Miami the past year. And he felt I'd much rather be cold than hot. And, and I think that that is a good quality in players. Who That's come, good quality. Come to Minnesota. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so let's talk a little bit about Montreal, uh, your time in Montreal. Um, it's, a, it's a great city. I've only been there. I think I've been there a couple of times, but most recently for the, the jazz festival that was that goes on there in the summer, uh, which is a lot of fun. What did what how did you enjoy living in, in Montreal, a very cosmopolitan uh, North American city? I definitely liked it a lot. You know, my family felt very comfortable there. It's very European city. The French part was kind of tough because I, I ne really never uh, got a uh, chance to to uh, study properly. And, and I felt it like English, uh, you know, I could live with English very well there. So I didn't have the motivation either. But uh, it was a very cool, cool city. My family enjoyed it there. I liked it there a lot and, and very nice people. And, and I, we had a very, very good three years. Yeah, I was going to ask about how your how your French was, or if it got better in Montreal. I feel a like I took French in high school, and so I tried, but I sometimes felt a little a little judged for my French in in, in Montreal. They're they're very they're very proud of their French heritage. They are, and I, I respect that. That's that's you know that's that's an awesome thing. But uh, for me, you know, like especially with the uh, under theory, you know, it was everything was in English, and, and with English you had no issues. So I felt it's 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 good enough for me. And so when you were in, uh, in, in Montreal, you, uh, you got experience playing as you were the captain of the team. Um, I wanted to ask you about your, your understanding of the captain's role. It's something I'm always really interested in when, when, when guys come in who have had that experience of being a captain. Um, what do you think it takes to be a good captain for a squad? And, 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 and what can you bring in a role, you know, either as a captain or not a captain, but just what, what you learn from that role to bring to a team? Uh, that's a very good question, actually. Uh, I was, uh, yeah, you're welcome. I, I was very surprised, to be honest, to be a captain for the team last year. Uh, that was honor. I was very, very happy about that. It was a nice challenge for myself as well. But uh, what comes to being captain, I think when I think about myself, it's more like uh, leading by example. That's actually, I'm not talking like crazy or giving advices all the time. It's more like, I think, and that worked pretty well in Montreal. I get some feedback for younger guys that, you know, I like the way you do things and, you know, understanding your teammates, respecting everybody and, you know, being a good teammate. I think that's also one big thing. Um, so in terms of coming to Minnesota now, um, what, were your, what were your reasons for deciding that this was, this was going to be a good fit for you here at uh, Minnesota United? No, when I heard about the interest, you know, I... I 
obviously I, I, I called, uh, I spoke with Rasmus uh, Schuller, uh, mm, yeah. guy, as, uh, Robin Lud uh, as well, and asked what they think about it. And obviously there was a lot of positive stuff and they, they are, especially Robin is very happy at the moment, with the club and, and, you know, I, I know they're a fantastic stadium, great fans. Hopefully there will be fans this year, who knows, but, um, you know, when the club shows interest and they, they want you, it's, it's also uh, gives you a good feeling. And and uh, I'm in the age, I have 32 years old. I've seen a lot. I play in MLS. This is my, going to be fifth year. And uh, I see the potential. I, I saw last two uh, playoff games against Seattle and, and Kansas City. I get, Yeah, Kansas City. So I saw a very good team, very uh offensive-minded team, a lot of uh, good individual players, and, and you want to be part of that kind of team. And, and really looking forward to, to meet the teammates and, and really start working. Excellent. So, so what's, your, uh, what's your relationship like with Robin Lidd? You guys both play on the, 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 the Finnish national team. How long have you, have you known him? Yeah, I think since he's a couple of years younger than I am, but uh, since he joined the national team, we've been teammates since that and, and actually for the national team I play in the previous years I played a lot on the right hand side and Robin you know, normally plays on the right side as well so we have a good, good really good connection and, and you know I think he's a great player good very good guy and, and you know it's, it's, it's happy from another I'm happy from uh, another Finnish guy from Lassie to come to to, to play with Robin and it's, it's, it's really cool. Yeah, I wanted to ask about the 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 sided thing. It's always something that's really interesting, and it came up last season because Robin was originally playing on the left. You know, he's 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 left footed. He moved to the right, and uh, as that inverted winger on the right, he sort of blossomed. You uh, have generally played left back. Are you are you left footed or are you right footed? Well, I'm kind of both. You know, I'm, I'm you know left footed is it works better, but uh, like I said, I play right back mostly for the national team and and. And uh, yeah, I cover the, I kind of cover several positions on the back line, which I, I see is a big strength for myself as well. I, I previous years in Montreal, I played off a lot of games in the center, center uh, defense as well. So that's a, that's a good thing. And that I, it's, I, I'm a, in that way, very flexible. Nice. So is there, is there like a, a, a mental shift that you have to do to go from, from being a fullback to a, to a center back? Like is, is, is there something you have to do to prep for that just mentally to say like my role is different and, and, and to just behave a little differently out there? No, I mean, definitely. I'm, I'm that kind of guy who like, if you have main position, you want to daily work on that position, get those repetitions. If it's fullback, you know, giving crosses, passes, center back is a little bit different. So of course it's, 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 you know, it, it, it takes a second to, to remember what, what kind of, for, the, for example, for the national team, I always play on the right-hand side and I'm more comfortable with my left foot and it always takes, you have to think a, think a bit, but I, you know, I played a lot of games in my career, seeing stuff. So it's, uh, it's just football, trying to enjoy as much as I can. <laughs> Absolutely. Experience is the, is the best teacher, I, I, I would imagine. So yeah. Um, so, all right. I want, I want to close out with a couple. Uh, I was looking up. Um, I've asked. I remember asking Rasmus Schuler about this as well. Um, I asked him about some some Finnish terms. I haven't talked to Robin yet about them. But uh, as I was looking up some more information, I came across some other great ones um, that I wanted to ask you about. Um, Sisu. Uh, the definition of, of, of Sisu I thought was interesting and maybe applicable to uh, the kind of work ethic that uh, Minnesota United is trying to get. So tell us a little bit about, about the Finnish uh, idea of Sisu. That's a very, very nice question. Actually, I have to tell you a story right away because uh, I think two or three years ago with uh, Montreal, Montreal, we played in Houston away. And there was a one guy came to me like a, uh, from the stands and he was, he was speaking Finnish. So I was like, okay, who is this guy? And he, he was saying that I, I have, uh, I'm from Finland. He was like 60, 70 years old guy. He's from Finland and, and he's in, if English wasn't perfect, but you know, I could understand him. We also spoke some English, but he gave me this, this, how do you say, bra- bracelet for the hand. Brace. Yeah. And it was written Sisu. And he gave me that. And I was like, I was really happy. And, and then he, he knew what it means. So it means like, that you never give up whatever you do you just you don't give up i think that's just the the message behind that word 
Yeah, it was, as I saw the definition, I was watching a video, they were talking about sort of guts, determination. Um, one of Minnesota United's sort of core values is resilience. And I feel like that that comes up into that idea as well. So it's one of those things that I saw it. And as somebody who works in, in writing and works in marketing, I'm like, this is a great idea. We should do more with that's really good. That's, that's excellent. That's a good word. That's yes. Really All right. Word. I have a couple more for you. Uh, this one I'm probably going to butcher. Um, Vahi on Ilo. Vahi on Ilo. Yes. I think. Oh, Thank okay. you. <laughs> okay. What, is, what does that one mean? <laughs> no, it means that kind of like if I do something stupid or something, I do a mistake, then you are happy because I, you know, I, I did something stupid. So that's that's also like kind of what we, what things can be you know but in a, in a good way you know not like not in not in a bad way sure yes i think that the the american equivalent or it, it's become an american word uh it's a german word schadenfreude which is sort of joy in other people's suffering i think in the german sense kind of, maybe yeah. a, a little darker than, than the yeah thing. that sounds more stronger you know it's not like that in finnish <laughs> okay it's a little more it's a little more mild um all right two more uh tall coat uh, which again, I think is a very important uh, a concept based on what I understand as far as um, working together with people to get something done, um, if, if I'm saying that correctly. So, can you say that word again? Talkot, T-A-L-K-O-O-T. Talkot, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, where do you get these words? <laughs> <laughs> I'll send you the video. Uh, it was a video of a guy talking about using Finnish terms. And, and oh he- my God, those are amazing. I don't even know how, how to say that in English, but correct, like people get together in a community and you know they do stuff for good things you know like maybe at your at your apartment com- complex for example maybe you have to cut one tree or whatever so you do it as a, as a group kind of yeah kind of thing. Yeah, I thought it was it was great. Again, one of the big things we that's been important in Minnesota United is the community and bringing the community together. And you know, we have great supporters groups who do who do work in the community. There's a group called Dark Clouds who has they have a sort of community service arm called Silver Linings, works with Habitat for Humanity and doing things like that. So again, it's one of those values that I think is awesome. Is a, works really is good, a good works. one. Very All right, good. last one, which is a value from myself. I don't, I can't speak to Minnesota United, but um, Kal Sari Kani, uh, <laughs> which. <laughs> <laughs> which I asked uh, Ras about, and it's funny because oh because Ras was very mellow. Um, I think like a lot of Finnish national characters, sort of being calm and laid right. back. And he had the yeah. same reaction. I asked him that, yeah. and he just broke into into a grin. So tell us some about Kalsari Kani. No, it, it means that you are on your underwear, drinking beers or whatever alcohol, and staying at home. That's very simple. Very simple rules. But yes. That's, so so you say you have tried that. Well, I mean, in, in this past year, what else are we going to do except at home? <laughs> that's, correct. Underwear? <laughs> that's correct. That's correct. Yeah, that's a good one also. Wow. Yeah. Uh, Ras, Ras also sort of tried to, uh, Rasmus Schuller, you know, sort of, it's sort of like the schadenfreude one was saying, it's, it's not a negative thing. It's a positive no, thing. No, 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 exactly. It's, it's just like, it sounds very depressing kind of, but it's not. It's just exactly. It's a positive thing. But I'm not. That's that. That's not my hobby, to be honest. <laughs> so what? So uh, well, I'll ask because you brought it up. What are what are some of the things you do like to do when you're not uh, out there, you know, training or on the pitch playing soccer? Uh, I have a daughter, three and a half years old at the moment. She's very very active. So I think that's 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 massive hobby for me at the moment. You know, playing with her and taking care of her, and and you know, that's uh, taking a lot of time. But I'm really enjoying. It. Yeah, that's excellent. Uh, kids can take up a lot of time. I have two myself. Um, I know Robin Lud has uh, has one. Uh, one yeah. So um, yeah, it's 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 a lot of fun. There's a lot of good stuff for kids here in Minnesota. So um, yeah, that's so what I heard. Hopefully, she'll and enjoy it. Yeah, definitely. She 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 will. I'm I'm sure about that. Excellent. Uh, well, Yuka, thanks so much for joining us on this loon dive uh, uh, on the Sound of the Loons, and hopefully, we'll get to actually see each other. Uh, you know, before too long. See how it goes. Hope so too. Thank you. Thanks Thanks a lot. Thanks. Bye. Bye.